After creating AI agents that played soccer, I was right here in the Dunning-Kruger scale, right at the peak of Mountain Stupid, where you know nothing, but you think you know everything. So what better way to apply all this knowledge than to try to tackle an incredibly over-the-top project, Capture the Flag. There would be a map with boxes and ramps, two teams would compete to grab the other team's flag and bring it back to their base. I was inspired by this research paper by OpenAI, where the AI agents learned how to play hide and seek. During their training, they figure out some pretty cool stuff, like making shelters with boxes, and even even surfing on top of the boxes which was pretty crazy. Before I set up the whole capture the flag scene, I thought I should start simpler and just have the simple obstacle course. There's a ramp and a wall and a target, pretty self-explanatory. The goal is to quickly create agents capable of using this ramp to go to the other side. Once this introductory scene is done, we'll move on to the capture the flag. So obviously it didn't work at first. On my research, I stumbled upon manual learning, where you record yourself using the agent manually, which creates this demo file at the end. Then you pass this demo file along in your machine learning configuration. That way, the agent first uses your demo file to learn faster, because it can learn from how you did the task. So obviously, it didn't work either. I looked into different training algorithms, and from what I understand, if your runs are costly, aka it is hard for you to gather many runs, it is better to use Soft Actor Critic or SAC algorithm, because this algorithm reuses runs to further train the agents. So I set up the configuration file to use the SAC algorithm, and it didn't work either. When I first changed the algorithm to SAC, it didn't work right away. It errored out saying that there were some wrong parameters. That's when I thought to myself, I should probably learn what these parameters actually do. I tweaked the configuration files with my new knowledge, and obviously it didn't work. Okay, well how about a lightning round? I increased the strength of Gale, which is the module that does the demo file learning. It didn't work either. I tried making the task simpler by removing the object lock. It didn't work either. I tried simplifying the neural net by shrinking the number of layers and hidden units in the configuration file. It didn't work either. I tried giving bonus points for putting the ramp by the middle wall. It didn't work either. I tried giving partial rewards depending on how close the agent got to the target. It didn't work. I fixed some bugs. I removed demo files. I fixed the ramp angle not restarting. I think I'm experiencing something called a local optima. I tried giving bonus points for the agents for for reaching higher heights. I tried making the agent observe the wide rotation of the player and ramp. I tried reducing the height reward. I tried changing epsilon. I tried the learning rate, time horizon, beta. I just copy pasted the old configuration file from one of my older videos that worked. <sighs> okay, let's take a deep breath. How about I simplify this issue even further? I'll just remove the wall. Well, it's still not working. I reverted the configuration file back. I punished the agent at every step. I tried increasing the reward for getting to the target. I tried a bigger neural network. I tried randomizing the position of the player at the start of every episode so they learn more different situations. The agent was just going in circles. Oh, I know. I'll also just remove the player's ability to rotate. I fixed the rotation. It still didn't work. I reduced the max steps so the run proceeds faster. Well, it, it looks like it's working. Looks like the agents needs to taste victory to understand that reaching the target gives points because if they can't cross the wall at all, they will never learn. So I started to spawn the agent on both sides randomly. That way, when they spawn on the other side, they'll just quickly get to the target and learn. The average reward was going up consistently, so that's good, but it still didn't work. Well, what if I use discrete options instead of continuous? When you use a keyboard, your inputs are key up or key down, one or zero. They are discrete. There are only two states. So I changed the agent's inputs to be discrete as well. This would fix two issues at once. First of all, it would be more similar to what kind of inputs I can use, and furthermore, there are way less states, so I I thought it would learn faster. But yeah, don't worry, it didn't work. I was ready to give up. I was going to do a final attempt with a different rewarding structure. To test my rewards, I was manually controlling the agents, and something was off. I couldn't really control the agent, and then it dawned on me. I had this bug in the code where the input to move the agent up and down was also the input for grabbing the object. Oh, don't worry, I'm sure fixing this bug helped, but it didn't work. But this bug made me paranoid. What if the changes I made beforehand somehow broke the agents and that they would have worked had it not been for the bug? I added some fancy new indicators to see if the agents reached those smaller milestones, like reaching the ramp or putting a ramp by the wall. I changed the scene. What if instead of a wall and a ramp, there's a big gap in the middle, and if the agent drops in there, the run resets. Otherwise, their task is to drop the box in there and then walk over it. It still wasn't working, so I also just removed grabbing. Just let the agent push the box around. That's when I realized, the agent wasn't tracking the box's position. So I fixed that bug, but don't worry, it still wasn't working. What if I also remove the agent's ability to rotate? There's no grabbing and carrying, so there's no need to rotate. Well, it started to kind of work, but not consistently. I was trying to understand what was wrong. That's when I noticed. The rewards were consistently going up, which is a good sign. But how on earth were the agent's rewards were as high as 3, when the final reward is 1, and all the other mini rewards were 0.2? Something must be wrong. And that's when I realized, instead of earning a 0.2, 
when they step on the box for the first time, they were earning that every time they stepped on and off of it. No wonder they never crossed over to the other side, they were just spamming. Oh yeah, don't worry though, fixing this bug didn't work either. I removed the small target, I made it such that just reaching the other side meant that the agent wins, that's it. But it wasn't working. I fixed the issue where the agents could just keep on walking towards the wall and never fall down. And it actually, finally, for the first time, started to work consistently. But at what cost? This is the lamest simulation ever. This is some hello world shit. So I added back the rotation of the player and it worked. I added back the ability to grab and move objects instead of pushing them around and it worked. I added the ramp back instead of the box and it worked. Even though the ramp was flying away at first, which looked kind of funny, but that's not really what the task is. See, I told you, the quick introductory scene just took 2 hours. If you take anything out of this video, it is to start simple and build your way up to more complex tasks. And also, for the love of god, test and debug your code properly. My half-assed rushing method always bites me in the ass at the end, costing me more time and headache. <sighs> Thanks for watching.